Yes, yeah, so I'm consuming. Uh, how soon can we expect a decision? Well, I hope I have a decision based on data I'm looking for by, uh, by the end of the week. What's up, you guys? It's Steve here, and breaking news just coming out, as we heard from the president today, who said this week there is going to be arriving a decision as to whether or not he's going to be wiping out the federal gas tax and also taking into consideration right now gas rebate cards. However, with the chip shortage, we're hearing that's likely not going to happen. And if they want to send out direct assistance, it's going to have to come in the form of a stimulus check. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, I've got video footage and articles that have just been coming out in the past couple hours. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest and let you hear it for yourself. Take a look, you guys. First up, Biden weighing federal gas tax holiday, sending out gas rebate cards. Just coming out today, Biden says decision on gas tax holiday may come this week. Gas prices. Will Biden administration send household gas rebate cards? Biden says decision on gas tax holiday may come this week. Just coming out. Biden says he's near a decision on a gas tax holiday and student loans as he tries to tame costs. And that would be through executive orders. Keeping you up to date on that as well as we're hearing those are likely going to be coming here very soon as well. And we're going to be diving into the video footage so you can hear it for yourself. What Biden had to say today on gas stimulus checks and wiping out the federal gas tax. And I've got news reporting covering that this is wrapping up because Democrats are concerned about those midterm elections and they want to make sure that they get things passed and done and orders out right before voters hit the polls so that way it's nice and fresh in their minds that, hey, we helped you out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think it will be enough to convince voters? Will it be enough money to help out those in need? It's been quite some time that people have been waiting. And I shared with you in my last video that a lot of people are saying the president he kind of lied to us. It's been so long and they feel like he's lying about the economy right now. So is he going to keep his word? Do you think it's too little too late? Let me know your thoughts, but whatever unfolds, I'm going to keep you up to date here on the channel. So let's go ahead and dive into the articles and the video footage so you can see it for yourself. But before we do, if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on the breaking news coming out, don't forget to take a quick second, smash that like button for me, helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, if you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. I'll let you know everything as it unfolds. All you got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. I pray that that channel is a blessing to you with everything going on in our economy. And keep an eye out for a comprehensive list of all checks on all levels, states, counties, and cities. A lot of people think there's only federal checks, but no. There's hundreds of checks that are only available for a limited amount of time to those that are eligible. And we're hearing that 90% of the people that are eligible are missing out all the time because they don't know that it's available and they have to apply. And I want to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. So keep an eye out for that list. That's going to be coming here soon as well. I'll keep you up to date on everything. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into the articles and the video footage. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so before we dive into the video footage, very quickly, link in the description below to this article that came out today. And it says, President Biden said on Monday today that he will decide on whether to suspend a federal gasoline tax by the end of the week to offer some relief to consumers facing painfully high prices at the pump. And he said, I am considering it. I hope I have a decision by the end of the week. And he said that he is also considering sending gas rebate cards to most Americans, an idea that energy analysts have said would only increase demand and lead to higher fuel costs. So uh, let me know your thoughts. We'll see if they go that route. But we're also hearing that due to the chip shortage, the rebate cards are likely not going to be happening. It would have to be checks. Take a look, you guys. Multiple news outlets said on Friday that it was reported that the Biden administration has recently mulled over a new stimulus plan of sending a Americans rebate cards to help offset the escalated prices of gasoline. Now jumping down, one of the sticking points is that officials have reportedly have concerns that consumers would use the cards to purchase items rather than gas. But the other concern is the shortage of the chip industry that may create an obstacle for physically producing the cards. So if they go that route, they would have to ensure that it was in the form of something other than a card we're hearing likely checks. And we will see you guys as we've been hearing that he has been promising stimulus checks 
for quite some time. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the video footage so you can hear it for yourself. First the president, then the news report, and they're going to be mentioning that they want to get this done right away before the elections. Let's go ahead and take a look. Considering a pause on the federal gas tax, Mr. President, we know that you're considering it, and Secretary Gellin spoke about it yesterday. Yes, but, I'm considering it. Uh, how soon can we expect a decision? Well, I hope I have a decision based on that I'm looking for by, uh, by the end of the week. My team is going to be sitting down with the CEOs of the major oil companies this week and uh, try to get an explanation how they justify making $35 billion in the first quarter. Are you planning to sit down with oil and gas CEOs, Mr. No. President? Why, why is that, sir? Because my team's going to do that. First, first of all, what they've done is they cut back in the refining capacity. All this stuff you hear about and you guys have to report but Biden limited the amount of oil. They have 9,000 leases. 9,000 leases on public land. And they should be the user or loser. And that's number one. Number two, the problem is what they've done is they've cut back on refining. On refining. And they say because they don't want to get caught in a position where eventually they're going to move to alternative energy, renewable energy, and they don't want to get stuck. Well, guess what? There's a logical transition to be made here. And I want an explanation from them as to why they aren't refining more oil. Americans are looking for relief at the pump, hoping that lawmakers can do something to bring those prices down, even if that's temporary. Uh, to that point, White House officials say a federal gas tax holiday is on the table. As of today, the average cost of a gallon is hovering around $5. Joining me now is NBC News White House correspondent Mike Memoli. So this would shave off... Um, what was it, 13, 15, 16 cents per gallon? Nice, but it's not gonna get the price down to where it was last year, Mike. Yeah, that's that's right, Katie. 18 cents is the magic 18. number that a federal gas tax holiday would mean for Americans. And in fact, we've seen a number of states already suspend state level gas taxes. And a number of those states are led by Democratic governors and legislatures. So this is an idea that has been sort of in the air for some time. You talk about gas prices hovering around five dollars a gallon. The president's approval rating is hovering around 40 percent and his approval on the economy is even lower than that. So that's really what's driving the urgency on the part of the White House today. The White House has consistently said that all options are on the table, that the president is considering a range of actions today. The president was taking a walk on the beach in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and he took some questions, including about this idea of a gas tax holiday. Let's hear what he had to say. Mr. President, are you considering a pause on the federal gas tax? Mr. President, we know that you're considering it, and Secretary Gellin spoke about it yesterday. Yes, but, I'm considering it. Uh, how soon can we expect a decision? Well, I hope I have a decision based on data I'm looking for by, uh, by the end of the week. Now, Katie, there are, of course, some trade-offs if you pursue this gas tax holiday. One is that if you suspend the gas tax, at some point you have to reimpose it. That's one of the political tricks here, is that at some point, if the gas price does lower enough, then you still have to reimpose the tax, and that will uh, raise it once again. The other bigger issue, as Jennifer Granholm, the energy secretary, laid out over the weekend, is this federal gas tax pays for things. It pays for infrastructure. The infrastructure law that the president signed last year is one of the main accomplishments they're running on, and so they don't want to necessarily rob Peter to pay Paul's put some of these infrastructure projects in jeopardy because you cut off one of the main sources of revenue for it. So a uh, decision the president says by the end of the week, we know sometimes those decisions, especially in this White House, drag out a little bit longer than that. Really, really interesting. Um, Mem, thank you so much. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think that this week there's going to be an announcement of wiping out the federal gas tax, an announcement of gas stimulus checks? What do you think the amounts could be? Well, whatever it is, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel and let you know the latest. So uh, with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on the breaking news this evening. If you appreciate the updates, don't forget, smash the like button. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. I'll let you know everything going on. All you got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance, and keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all checks on all levels. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.